tell you, this should have been at Craig Humphrey, not at me. Chuck Long's coming on the field after the game, and he yells to me, Nate Hibble got a Big 12 championship ring. He's a hell of a player. Yeah. Well, that should you know not what? have been directed at me. And, and, it should have been directed at you, Craig And, and you know what? And you know what, Al? That, that's, he did get a Big 12 championship ring, but he had very little to do with it tonight. Okay? Very wow. little. I'll tell you, somebody else had a big belt chance. He threw a couple, yeah. threw a couple yeah. blocks, yeah. too. Touchdown pass that he threw. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was a great block. Oh, Watch yeah, the replay. Oh, yeah, sure touchdowns. Listen, and, fellas, and no fellas, listen, that, right? okay? Isn't he the reason they're out to a big lead? But, hey, you know, Nate Hibble is a good kid. He's a good quarterback. We're not going to sit here and beat him up after they just won the Big 12 championship. But it is very, very obvious that they put the ball in Quentin Griffin's hand, and they won the game. It's that simple. Yeah, where, and, where are we going? Hey guys, uh, something I, I was trying to bring up. You know, Craig Oaks also has a Big 12 championship ring, and now he's playing Division One AA football. But you, you know, <laughs> hey, 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 Doug, what do you want to tell you? Nick, 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 they played a good game. Al, Al, really look, Al, look, the fact Al. is, Al, the fact is that they won 11 games this year, had a very good season, but he was their third choice to be the starting quarterback at the start of the year. If you could have told no, me that, was, there was a second choice, Doug. Doug. Get the facts right. Al, the second yeah, he was Al, second. Al, you can stick up for Nate Hibble all you want. In the I, second I half, in, listen, when, the game, Al, when the game, when the game was close, Nate Hibble couldn't hit a receiver, and then they handed the ball off and won the game. It's that simple. And Chuck Long, but who he, I got he, a lot of respect maybe for, could have thrown well, it. And they won the game. Excuse me, that guy's he wide open. Now, how about the two-point conversion? He threw the ball ten feet okay, behind what the was guy. His, what was his stats tonight? They were horrible. Yeah, he threw for 114. In the second half, he was like three for 13. Al, okay. I mean, Nate Hibble won. We're not dogging him for winning. But don't act like he won the game. I didn't say he did. I'm not. But you guys are talking. I'm saying he might get Oh, no. They, listen. I tell you who the really bad I mean, quarterback geez. was tonight was Robert Hodge. Yeah, yeah Hodge is yeah. terrible. Now, that's a bad My question, why are you a bad quarterback? Why and, uh, taking us lightly either, so. We got somebody else joining us now. Okay. He, he owes me now. I just defended his butt big time. Uh. Uh, we all did. Doug, yeah, we no, yeah, we did in a uh, little argument tonight. And Doug uh, Gottlieb, uh, you know, is, is probably on his uh, his list now. What you got to really feel great, Nate. After you know the story last year, Jason comes out the start. You went and ten wins and a Big Twelve championship ring. Yeah, I mean, it feels amazing. Uh, what do you mean you defended me? What was this all about? It was a little argument that you didn't have anything to do with the win tonight. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Well. uh... I mean, I, I was leader out there. Uh, I think I did. Uh, made some big throws. Uh, you know, Which missed, one said mi that? missed a couple. But uh, you know, I've been I've been here. Uh, you know, hearing it secondhand from you boys for a while. So uh, hold on, mate. Hold on, mate. Who, who was saying that? What's that? Uh, <laughs> who was saying? That was Mr. Gottlieb and uh, and who else? Uh, uh, I was got a face for radio. Hey, needs to be in a cubicle somewhere. Congrats. You want to hop in, coach? Come on, come here, Bob. Get Bob in here. So uh, who else was saying that about Nate? My buddy. <laughs> who? Tell me. He wants a no, list. We're not. We're not. We don't. We don't. This, there, was, there, I bet there. it was a bunch of basketball players. Hey, uh, we've got the guys at the brewery. Okay, let's go. 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 Let's Very nice for Channel 5 to get the story wrong. Yes, <laughs> don't even, I'm, I'm the only guy ever say about anything about, no, about Nate Hibble on the radio station. Don't even yeah, worry everyone, about it. I, I said it. Everyone, not, people aren't real confrontational, are they, guys? He's <laughs> <laughs> well, right here. It's, it's not that easy for him, is it? Well, come on, I mean, Dougie. Come on. I, I, what? I never wanted to. I mean, uh, you know, I mean, we did only throw for 120 uh, you know, yards tonight, but, uh, I mean... I'm not going to toot my own horn, but um, we won a lot of games when I've been at the helm, and uh, you know it's uh, that speaks for itself. Well, and, and, and that you took what was given to you, right? right. I didn't want to. I didn't want to force. It. I think the biggest thing is I didn't turn the ball over, and there's a lot of a lot of uh, we got ourselves through penalties and through a, a couple bad plays and some third and longs, and and, and sometimes the, be the better throws to throw it away. So. Uh, you know, we, we were hitting them in the first half, and I thought it was going to be a big night throwing the ball, but we ended up, uh, you know, running the ball and pounding them in the second half. I think there's kind of an unrealistic belief of.